Hey everyone, I'm Reese Kelly Graham for WFAA.com, and this is my producer Landon. Say hi, Landon. Hi. Landon's about to help me pick all of the games in the regional final round of the playoffs correctly. Reese, you didn't get them all right last time or the time before that. It's, it's, not, it's not going that well. So? Did your mom buy you that sweater? My wife bought me this sweater, Reese. Aw. And you're going to die alone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That, uh. We're leaving that in. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I was going to compliment the sweater, but now I hate the sweater <laughs> almost as much as I hate... Am I striking good looks? Yeah, sure, that. All right, let's get to it. we got seven games. Seven games. I, I think I can handle that. Kennedale versus Kaufman. Oh, okay. First, I just want to say, Kennedale, Kennedale's game with uh, Midlothian Heritage was really fun last week. They only won it by a few points, and they had to drive the field in the, la in the final seconds to pull off the win. Midlothian Heritage was a top 10 for a team in this state, as was Kennedale. Um, so I think Kennedale's performance is more of a reflection of who they played. I'm going to go with Kennedale over Kaufman here. Frisco Lone Star versus Mansfield Legacy. We've been talking about Frisco Lone Star all year. Um, just such a completely solid, sound team in almost every aspect. I think Legacy is going to be a great challenge for Frisco Lone Star because Legacy has been battle tested in that tough 10-5A district. Uh, but I think MJ Rivers ultimately leads uh, Lone Star uh, over Mansfield Legacy. Richland versus Alito. Uh, we haven't talked a lot about Alito this year, but they're still one of the most talented teams uh, in the area. I think they're going to be too much for Richland. I think Richland gets out here. Denton Ryan versus Lubbock Coronado. Denton Ryan got past another team from Lubbock last week in Lubbock Monterey. Um, you know, Spencer Sanders, you know, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the area. Um, what, probably the best quarterback in uh, 5A play in the entire state. Uh, I really want uh, Denton Ryan to win this game, so it sets up a rematch against Highland Park. We saw Highland Park and Denton Ryan uh, face each other in state semifinals last year. Uh, Spencer Sanders went down with injury, so we never really got to see a full four quarters of that matchup. So I think Denton Ryan gets the uh, win, and I'm pulling for them to do so. Speaking of Highland Park, Highland Park versus Mansfield Lake Ridge. Okay, I definitely think that Highland Park has a tougher path to get back to a potential rematch with Denton Ryan because uh, Mansfield Lake Ridge was one of the most solid teams out of that district of doom all year in 10-5A. Uh, they were picked to win their district and they ended up doing so. They were probably the only team that wasn't a surprise out of that district in that they won it and that they performed so well all throughout the year. Also, these teams are both coming in 12-1, and one, uh, having won 12 straight after dropping their opening game. I'm going to go with Highland Park here, but this is probably the best game uh, of pinning together two area teams of the week, and that's why I'm going there on Friday night. South Lake Carroll versus Waco Midway. Okay, South Lake Carroll fans, I love you. I think you're one of the best fan bases in the entire Metroplex. So I have to pick against you, mainly just because make Waco Midway handled Mansfield so well last week. And Mansfield has a great offense. They have so many weapons that they can spread the field with, and it just didn't matter. Euless Trinity versus Allen. Okay, our final game on the list. I know that because I wrote the list. Um, Euless Trinity has had a great season. Uh, they've already pulled off an upset in the playoffs like over Duncanville, one-point win over Duncanville. Uh, their best wins have been one-point wins this season. They pulled out a one-point win over South Lake Carroll earlier in the season. But given how easily Allen dominated Arlington Martin last week, I thought that was going to be a much closer matchup. I think it's going to be very, very hard for Trinity to knock off Allen. So I'm going to go with the Eagles, and I don't see much preventing Allen from walking to the state title game. Be sure to follow WFAA Sports on Twitter for the best sports coverage in DFW. And who can they follow for playoff updates all the way through championship weekend? You, at Reese Kelly G. Holy crap, he got my handle right. First try. Well, Landon, you've already insulted me in this video. Um, so to make up for it, you're going to put my hat on the camera and you're going to do the outro. Bye. Wait, hey, what, what am I supposed to say? Trois, deux, un. Speaking of Highland Park, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs>